A warm welcome for former President Donald Trump at a UFC event in New Jersey Saturday as he vows to fight the criminal conviction against him. President Trump, you're the man, bro. It is a damn travesty what they're doing to you. In an interview with Fox and Friends released Sunday, the former president was asked about the possibility of jail time, something legal experts say would be unlikely for a nonviolent first-time offender. The judge could decide to say, hey, house arrest or even jail. It could. How do you face it could. what that could look I'm okay like? with it. I'm not sure the public would stand for it. Uh, with a uh, tried house arrest or, or I think I think it would be tough for the public to take. You know, at a certain point, there's a breaking point. President Joe Biden is with his family in Delaware this weekend, but spoke out about the verdict Friday and about Trump's false claims following his conviction. And it's reckless, it's dangerous, and it's irresponsible for anyone to say this was rigged just because they don't like the verdict. Former U.S. Attorney for the Southern District of New York, Pre Perara, says this conviction could have significant impact in Trump's pending legal cases. If he gets a conviction on the federal counts in the future, the fact of this conviction here, if it's still on the books, um, would result in a potential higher prison sentence in those future cases. A new CBS News poll finds 57% of Americans thought this was the right verdict and 56% a fair trial. Among Republicans, just 18% say the verdict was right. Compare that to 96% of Democrats. Cristian Benavides, CBS News. And the poll also found 51% of Americans believe Trump is no longer fit to be president now that he's been convicted.